Before we went on air, we just learned that longtime daytime TV staple Jerry Springer has passed away at age 79. So obviously one of the big headlines that greeted me this morning was not one that I was welcoming. It was that a friend of mine, Jerry Springer, had, um, had passed on at the age of 79. Yeah, well, Ashley Banfield was a friend of Jerry's. She didn't know that he'd been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer a few months prior. I didn't even know he was sick until this morning. Steve Wilkos worked security on Jerry Springer for 13 years before moving on to his own self-titled talk show in 2007. He kept in touch with Jerry over the years and saw him for what he didn't realize would be the final time in March. And he embraced me in a way that he never really embraced me, gave me a hug and he was telling me he loved me and I think it was his way of saying goodbye to me. Now, of course, Jerry said hello to TV audiences in 1994 with the Jerry Springer Show. If you just joined us, this is our first show. Everybody had a feeling about Jerry. Yesterday, Maury Povich mourned the loss of his colleague, calling Jerry joyful, smart, and a unique showman. On the Today Show this morning, Maury Povich gave the insider perspective on Jerry's meteoric rise. He penetrated a, a lot in our culture. I loved his show. He was, I'm not afraid he was to a great say it. Guy. He nice was person. a great guy yes, and he was fun. really fun. And on The View yesterday, Whoopi felt no guilt. Yeah. And that show was as crazy as it gets. <laughs> yeah. But there's a place for everyone here. Jerry told Chris Cuomo in December that he had very little to do with the show's success. I'm the basic schlub that got lucky. He was very humble uh, and he's being modest. And he was a good man and we're gonna miss him. Sally Jesse Raphael echoed that sentiment in her messages tonight, where she added that Jerry was a bright, funny man who I considered to be a friend. And I think that does show what an eclectic career Jerry had. What I learned about Jerry very early on was that there's so much more um, to him. He was a lawyer, Cincinnati mayor, talk show host, country music singer, TV judge, dance contestant, and the Beatle. I mean, not one of the Beatles, but the Beatle on The Masked Singer. When I sing, seriously, people get involved because they have to guess where the notes were supposed to have been. <laughs> it's like interactive. Jerry was unmasked on the show in October 2022. And it was one of his final on-air appearances. You've done so many things in your life. Why in the world did you choose to be the Beatle? There's so many serious things going on in the world to be able to do something that's just fun and silly and whatever. And I appreciate it. Yeah, Jerry's definitely hard to classify or at least come to a very general conclusion about <laughs> especially after hearing some of my tv colleagues you know talk so fondly about him the person who i wish more people knew was the extraordinarily brilliant um not just politician but human i mean he just seemed to have so much knowledge of everything very interesting life jerry springer i'll give you that rest in peace till next time take care of yourself and each other